Hi, I'm John Urban, Product Marketing Manager at Biamp, and this video is an overview of updating firmware remotely in our SageView software. SageView is a browser-based monitoring and management platform for Tessera and Devio devices, providing a single, comprehensive view of system and device status. In IT speak, it's a network monitoring system for Tessera and Devio. One of our customers' most requested capabilities to add to Tessera is remote firmware updates. And with SageView, you can do just that. SageView allows you to update firmware either on a device-by-device -device basis or in groups. It's completely up to you. We've begun posting the four or five most recent Tessera firmware updates on the SageView cloud portal that you interacted with when you first installed our software. SageView will ping the site and retrieve the firmware packages, allowing you to choose the firmware release you want to either update to or roll back to. Then, select the systems or devices you want to apply the firmware to. If you're unable to connect successfully to our cloud site, or if the customer installation does not allow internet access for security reasons, you can upload firmware packages locally and then update firmware that way. We're also going to continue our traditional approach of posting firmware to our corporate website. So if you prefer that approach for firmware updates, no problem. Normal rules for updating firmware apply, meaning you won't be able to access the device via SageView while firmware is updating, or by any other method either. And it may take some time for the firmware update to complete. If the firmware update isn't successful, then the device will be restored to its previous firmware version automatically. SageView displays a message that the firmware update was not successful and logs that error into the SageView event log. If the firmware update was successful, you'll see a message displayed to that effect in SageView as well. We recommend that all Tessera devices in a system are running the same firmware version to avoid conflicts or unexpected behavior. After successfully updating firmware on a Tessera DSP, it will automatically update the firmware on all connected and configured expander devices. And even though each device will reboot itself after firmware installation is complete, I want to mention that you can reboot individual devices via SageView whenever you need or want to. System requirements. SageView installs on Windows 10, 32 or 64 bit. You can deploy it anywhere you like, a virtual machine or a desktop. Tessera devices need to be running 3.6 firmware or later, and Devio devices need to be running 1.3.4 firmware or later. Oh, and you'll need a web browser. As you can tell, we're very excited about SageView and hope you will be too. Please contact your Biome salesperson for an in-depth demonstration or to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.